TV ready. Well, people love their dogs and their cats. I know I love mine. Shout out to my girl, Sugar, if you're watching. And Cancer Injury Law is pet friendly. They allow pets into the office and employees routinely bring their dogs in. And Mark Cantor, he is our Axe the Expert for today. The segment is sponsored by Cantor Injury Law. Mark, thanks for being here with us today. Thanks for having us. Absolutely, I'm excited. And today we are really outlining a pet owner's liability for their animal. And who have you brought in for us today? <laughs> this is Pippi. Hey, Pippi. Pippi is a nine-week-old uh, French bulldog and uh, so adorable. She's so cute. She's saying hello to you. And look at her nails. You ha we have to get her nails on camera because her nails are fabulous. Well, I'm excited that Pippi is here. And you really say there are no bad dogs, but there are bad dog owners. What happens if we find ourselves in a situation where our dog has bitten someone? Well, I hope that you don't. I don't uh, either. <laughs> and, 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 you know, I honestly believe I've, I've had a dog my whole life. Uh, I do believe there are no bad dogs. There, there are many bad dog owners. I also think if you own a dog and you don't love your dog or your dog doesn't love you, there's something wrong with you. So uh, dog owners have a responsibility to socialize their dogs. And in Missouri, there's strict liability for dog owners. So that means if your dog owner, if your dog bites someone, you're liable and your homeowner's insurance will pay. And that was my next question for you. So they will pay if they find themselves in this situation. What should a person do if they do find themselves attacked by an animal? Well, we've had many, many animal attack cases at Cantor Injury Law. Um, we've had dog bites. Uh, we actually had a petting zoo attack once with a bear. Uh, owners are responsible yeah. for their pets. And if, if you're injured by someone else's pet, you should call Cantor Injury Law. I mean, it, and it's not just dogs, it's cats. You know, if you own a horse, you gotta keep it uh, in its corral. Um, you know, we had a case once where a horse got out and someone ran into it. Oh, so, I mean, there's terrible things that can happen if you're not a responsible dog owner. Uh, Pippi's putting on a show. <laughs> Pippi's like, hey, if you find yourself in a bad situation, you can call Cantor Injury Law. What are, I know, <laughs> you are just great. singing okay. their praises, huh, <laughs> sweet girl? Uh, what does Cantor Injury Law charge up front to help with these types of cases? Nothing. And we're on a contingency fee. We're local. We're right down the street. Uh, you know, if you're in Missouri or Illinois, uh, there's no fee to hire us until we win. Uh, we advance all the expenses. We've won hundreds of thousands of dollars <laughs> in dog bite cases. And we routinely have dogs in our office because we do socialize them. So I have two dogs right now. Uh, this is Kevin Glenn, one of my lawyer's dogs, and that's why her nails are painted. They look amazing. Uh, yeah, they're great, right? So I, I thought Kevin was joking when he told me he was going to paint the nails for the show. Uh, but Kevin, I am a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> Pippi's nails look great. What's the best part about knowing that, you know, the people who you get to work with and see every day, uh, some of your attorneys at the office, what does it mean to you to allow them to be able to bring their pets in? Oh, it's great. It's great for the office morale. It's great for the puppy. I don't think a puppy like this, I mean, look at this adorable dog. She shouldn't be in a cage all day while everyone's at work. And so that's what responsible dog owners do. And, you know, I have a billboard that shows a vicious dog. That dog's not vicious. It's actually one of my friend's dogs. It's a, <laughs> a German Shepherd. And, and um, you know, we, uh, her name is Bear. And they come out to my land and my property all the time. And they're welcome in the office. And, you know, we give out leashes and collars. And, um, you know, people that are good people have good pets. And so that's what we encourage. And if someone else doesn't do that, um, you know, then they should call Cantor Injury Law because we'll make it right. Um, you know, we've seen terrible cases. Dogs tend to bite children on the face and we send them to plastic surgeons. I mean, these are huge cases sometimes and they can have devastating effects where people have a fear of these animals forever because of one uh, bad owner. So um, I hope that that doesn't happen to anyone in the audience here, but if it does, uh, Cantor Injury Law is happy to help. And, they're here at your service, and his team are ready, is ready to help. Should you find yourself in an incident such as this, an animal bite to occur, their website is canterinjurylaw.com, and the phone number is 314-628-9999. It's right there on your screen. And, of course, we'll also have all this information on our website, studiostl.tv. Mark, thanks for being here with us today. And Pippi. Thank you for blessing us with your super cute face, sweet girl. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Great. We'll have a lot more studio STL when we come back right after this quick break.